It's been a long time since the latest video I did on Godot add-ons and there are a lot of cool ones available. So let's go and let me show you 10 simple and awesome add-ons for Godot. Let's go. The first one in this list is Input Buffer by Dr. Kit. Have you ever been frustrated with a platformer because you missed a jump by pressing the button a millisecond too early? Well, this add-on is here to change that. Input Buffer stores inputs for a short window that you can set up in code, giving the player some leeway way on their actions. Using it is easy, instead of using the usual input.isActionJustPressed, you use input.isActionPressedBuffered. Simple, straight to the point, but extremely useful. I love it. Oh, and this add-on is available both in JavaScript and c -sharp. Neat! There's also a small demo replicating the Dino game that lets you try the input buffer. The second add-on is Keychain by Orama Interactive. Input remapping is a pain to implement, and that's what this add-on is trying to solve. With Keychain, your player can easily remap actions to whatever input methods they use. It also allows multiple events to each action, creating shortcut profiles and supporting localization and more. Keychain is used by Pixelorama, a famous free and open source 2D sprite editor made with Godot. While we were talking about software, let's take a look at Dockable Container by Gilzoid. It's in the name. This add-on lets you easily create dockable containers. This can be extremely useful when making software with Godot, but I can also see that in games, especially in management games, where there's a lot of UI. There's an online demo if you want to check it out, link in the description. Let me show you a cool add-on for you, 2D people. Sheet to Sprite by Unlucky Ninja lets you conveniently add sprites from a sprite sheet to a scene. It lets you select what you need with the right mouse button and then you drag it to your scene with the left mouse button. I find this very clever and super useful. I love it. Let's continue with editor tools to make your life easier. Sorry 3D people, it's again for us 2D overlords. Selection Shortcuts by Dylan Suzuka adds a bunch of useful shortcuts to move and select nodes around. You can move a selected node to your cursor by pressing Ctrl F, you can save and restore selection by using shortcuts, and finally you can find and select a node in a current scene using another shortcut. Especially useful when you have recurring nodes in every scene that you want to quickly access. Take a look at the README and give it a try to see if it can be useful for you. These editor tools are super cool, so let's do another one. Node Referencer by Sander Van Hove is a straight-to-the-point add-on that lets you create a code reference to whatever node you want. You simply select the node, hit reference, dollar test, and boom, you have the corresponding code to grab the node references. The best part is that it automatically adds the correct class name. Simple, straight to the point, super useful. 3D people, this is for you. Polyliner by Firepal is an add-on to create thick 3D lines. There's a built-in way in Godot to create lines, but it's quite limited. With this add-on, you can use curves to define your line, which is much more user-friendly. There are built-in shaders you can use to customize the look of your line. This can be useful to create ribbons or weapon trails, for example. Handling multiple input types like keyboard, gamepads, etc. can be a pain, especially when it comes to UI. Thankfully, controller icons by rsubtle helps you with that. It provides icon for all major controllers and keep mouse actions. It automatically detects the current input method and switches the icons on the fly. This is a true time saver. Check out the GitHub README for how to use it and what controllers are supported. Earlier, I told you about Dockable Container. Now, let me show you another UI add-on. Flex Container by Nifkun. If you know CSS, this is similar to Flex, letting you easily arrange nodes and let them take as much or as less space as you want. If you do UI in Godot, this is a great node that can help you tremendously. And to finish this video, the last add-on is GDS, Godot Game Settings. The goal of this add-on is to easily and quickly create and maintain in-game settings menus. For lots of you, UI is boring and settings are boring, so this add-on is the perfect fit for you. This add-on helps you create settings through an in-editor interface. It handles UI, saving, loading, and default values, a true time saver. P.S. GDS is currently under a major refactor to go to version 3.0 so note that lots of things can change. 
these were my 10 Godot add-ons recommendation. If you know cool add-ons or you created one and you want to share it, please leave a comment below. Don't use links or you might risk YouTube automatically removing your comment. Like and subscribe. Bye.